I'm happy with how the business is going and everything's going fine, but... Oh, what the hell are you doing going to solicitor then? Well, if you just let me you know, finish now, if you just let me no, finish... Seriously. If, what the hell are we see, doing here, sitting in front of someone else when... No, the, if honestly, you just let me finish... All right. The business is going fine, but I can't deal with him anymore, and I can't keep doing all this work. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing from you that this has resulted in a lot of stress for you, and a lot of frustration. Um, you're saying that you spend a lot of time going from one business to another, doing the accounts, doing all of dealing with the staff, uh, making sure everything is working from the, the, the book point of view. Um, and I'm hearing that this was the last straw, what you heard about uh, Joe doing the deal. Um, and this is what you'd refer to, or, or, to, to early, earlier as well. And that the impact it's having on you is in terms of stress, having to go to the doctor, being worried, being frustrated. What's it like for you to hear this? Uh, I felt a bit... Um, uh, I suppose a bit, um, it felt a bit wrong that he's waking up at night with the stress of this. I felt there's something that, that's, that shouldn't be happening. Okay. Um, it's sad that, that Pat, who eagerly entered our business, it is now eating him up. We got on well, you know. Okay. It wouldn't have been... <laughs> whatever, best friends, forever thing. But we, no, we, we, we got on well. You know, we used to, um, at, at lunchtimes, my grandmother's house was near um, Pat's parents' house at lunchtime. He would go home mm. to lunch and I'd go up to my grandmother's. So even though we were coming from different sort of backgrounds, we used to walk that thing together every day. And I suppose we got to know each other a bit better that way. Okay. You know, what, what was the time for and what were the things you uh, liked about each other or admired in each other? Well, I suppose he, he did, you know, he stuck up for me a couple of times in school. I was getting a bit of a rough time and, you know, he'd always kind of, kind of put a, you know, either put a good word in or, or stand up for me and all his brothers were very big, so that kind of helped. Um, and this is with other kids then? Yeah, with yeah. other people in the school, so. Okay. Yeah, I suppose he was kind of a... Yeah, it was. It was. We weren't amazing, the close or anything, but it was. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it was good. So you felt protected. Maybe a half spot for him, and uh, I could, as I said, even even back then, I had the street smarts, and I could uh, I could get him out of a bind if someone was uh, coming at him. Okay, you're smiling, Pat. Yeah, I mean, it was it was good, but yeah. Okay, yeah. and then you. Moved on to secondary school. Were we in the secondary school together, or for as long as I was there, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How long was that that you were both in secondary school together? Well, Joe packed it in early enough. Yeah, I mean, we okay. needed to. Yeah, I mean, at the beginning, yeah. Okay, there's something different now. There's different now. There's something I want to clarify from my mind. There, are, there are two things for you. One is the unequal balance of the work responsibility and the other is the deals the uncertainty be what's going on about these deals why isn't he telling me or what 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 was he doing with those other two deals which of these is the most important um, um, issue for you is it the the unbalance in the work or is it the the making of the deals or the deals that didn't work I think the, the balance of the work is probably more important I still want to know what happened Want to know what happened? Okay. Okay. Can I talk with you, Joe? Um, the deals. Um, I I have heard Pat say that he tried to ask you about them, and that um, the answers he was receiving from you weren't in any way satisfying him, or as to what could be the reasons that you would have let the deals go. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Tell tell me about the deals. What was happening? Where were the deals at when, when, um, when Pat went on holidays? At what stage were they? Oh, well, I think he more wanted to talk about the balance of the work, really, you know. And I can no, I want to hear about the deals. Yeah. What well, happened to the deals? 
We'll do the balance. These things happen, you know. Okay. These, these, fail. these things happen. Okay. When you say these things happen, what, what kind of things happen? Just to fall through, you know, it's, it's the way it goes. And uh, like, you know, you, you're, you're the person who's talking about partnership. We should always communicate everything like that. You were away on holidays, and they, <coughs> they changed a, a little bit of the the deal and the mm. paperwork. And I didn't want to make a decision. Um, you know, I didn't want to be forced into thing. I didn't think that was right. You know, so I just said not. Okay. I it. it's, it's it's better because normally when we'd have a deal like that. Um, they'd come up with a change of things and ask him to email it over to Pat. He'd have a look at it and we'd, uh, we'd work it. And that's always worked very well. Okay. You know? So uh, normally it would be at that stage, yeah, and we should you'd be email it to Pat and he'd say that's okay and you'd go ahead? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And at this stage, what happened that was different? Just he wasn't there, like, you know? Okay. I, I, I didn't want to go ahead with it then. Okay. What would have stopped you going ahead with it? I didn't want to. Okay. And what is it you were concerned about? If you'd gone ahead, what were you concerned might have happened? That it was um, that it wasn't right, you know, that, that sort of way. You'd have been worried that the deal wasn't right? Yeah. Okay. That I got into the wrong thing. And what might have let you know that you would have got into the wrong thing? <laughs> Pat. <laughs> okay. But Pat, but so Pat would have normally be the person, but he's not there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, he he rubber. You know, I'd, I'd get things with the negotiations to where they're supposed to be, and then he'd the paperwork man, you know. Okay. Yeah. He was the paperwork man. Mm-hmm. There was it. And for you? That wasn't that wasn't what I did, like, you know. Okay. Was there a concern about signing something that you weren't too sure of? There was. Okay. What was your concern? Just. Uh, you know the way you'd be like you know, a legal document so you'd be worried well yeah you know what you're saying with those things okay as in I'm always fine once I have someone I trust like Pat say that's okay. fine you would sign it it's okay great. so well, you would have had an opportunity to read it before you signed it yeah would, would they were kind of putting a bit of pressure on to read it fast and things like that you know, so. okay um, What's it like for you if someone's putting pressure on you? Uh, I just sort of I'd go back from something like that, you know. I'd, whoa, you know. Okay. There's enough time in life not to be having okay. to read this thing right now and fix it right now. He's away for a week. Can we do it next week? They had some other buyer in by the end of the week. Okay. So where it goes, sometimes business deals fail, and that's that. Okay, it does happen. Yeah. What were you wooing? You said just whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, what, just what was whoa, it you like wanted to push back? back? Mm. Them, the people. Don't make me go signing things. It was, it was never my thing, you know. Okay. What was it about it that wasn't your thing? Just not my thing, you know. Um, Joe, um, I'm getting a sense that this is difficult for you. Yeah, I think we should just talk about the balance of the work. Okay, we, we, will, we will move to that in a moment. Can I just ask... Question. Can I ask you a question in a roundabout way? Um, if this isn't discussed and if there isn't understanding about it, what might be the outcome? That the business ends. That the business would end? Yeah. And what would that be like for you if the business ends? That would be, be shit. In what that'd way? Be really shit. Look, I'm 41. Where am I going, where am I going to write a CV? I write a CV that I drove lawnmowers and then, then I ran a business. Okay. But I didn't do the books. So you're really concerned. So how employable am I? Okay. You're really concerned about the future? Yeah. Okay. And if you did say what it is that's going on for you, what might be the outcome? The outcome is that if Pat says it then Pat has too much on me then I, I just look I don't want to talk about it alright you'd be worried that Pat would have too much on you ok can I just leave it for one second just, can I, may I just move to ask Pat a question um, Pat um, coming to mediation 
what was it that made you decide you could have just gone, dissolved the partnership, got the <coughs> papers drawn up by the solicitor, deal done, finished, over? What was it that actually brought you into mediation? Um, well, I mean, the solicitor did, you know, he, he said it, it could work and I do respect his opinion, so that, I mean, that was part of it, but, you know, I suppose I thought I'd, you know, oh, Joe, giving it a go anyway. Okay. Um, when you said you owe Joe... I, I'm, not, I'm not one to make <coughs> rash decisions anyway, so I, I thought, look... Yeah, give, see what happens and if it doesn't work then I can just dissolve it then okay. or pull out or whatever do whatever but I suppose I just you know give it a, give it a chance maybe for for everyone's sake okay and you mentioned that you, you owe Joe yeah what kind of things do you owe Joe um, for well, I mean we do have a long kind of history and he has like I was saying at school you know he's looked out for me and things like that mm. um, I suppose that would be a big one yeah okay so yeah. that sense of loyalty yeah, yeah pretty much yeah okay I mean he's you know as much as I want to strangle him sometimes it's you know he has his uses okay all right uh, you've heard Joe and um, in the last few minutes he's looks like he something he would like to say but he has huge concerns about saying it um, what could you offer him I mean you know I need I like I need to know you know I'd rather know if we're in a partnership I need to know what's going on like I don't care really as long as I know what it is then I can you know make my own decision based on that but to get the trust back, I need to get something from him. Okay, so you need to understand yeah. something of what's yeah. happening. Okay. You're it still doesn't make any sense to me why he's kind of going around. Like he's, I still don't know really why they fell through. Okay. Okay. Can I come back to you, um, Joe? I can see you're really, really struggling with this. What would you need from Pat that might make it easier? What you were saying in the, when we met without Pat. Okay. That I could be sure that whatever I say just stays here. That's it. You absolutely need complete confidentiality. Yeah, and I, 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 yeah, I know, I see now, it probably needs to be said, but I just can't without being sure. What are you worried that... Um, Pat might do with He's the just information. Tell everyone. To tell everyone. Sure, I have to keep it confidential as well, don't I? Okay. So. What can you assure Pat know. of, or Joe? Sorry, Joe of. I mean, I, you know, I've, you know, I've signed the agreement to mediate about keeping it confidential. There's, there's a difference between that and actually not telling anybody. Well, we can still dissolve the partnership if it needs be, but. Well, I mean, I, you have my word, like it's. As much as that's worth anymore, I don't know, but <coughs> no, it's I won't. Like, it's always been worth something. Okay. Um. What was the last question you asked? What would you need from Pat that would. No, the, while, while you were talking about the deals. What, what was it that would have stopped you? Was it um, yeah. signing the agreement? Yeah. Uh, you were saying the one. that you wanted to back away. Do you know there's an ad on, on uh, telly at the moment and there's a fellow, he's wearing overalls and he cleans his hands. He's in a kind of liquid. Um, and he, he, at the start of the ad, he wasn't able to communicate with his brother. And then at the end of the ad, he was through uh, like emails and things like that. He reminds me of me. Okay. I don't know the ad, Joe, but what is it about him it's that a, reminds you? It's an you? ad for adults who, uh, who have trouble reading and writing. Okay. 
It's not like you can't read or write, but I, I couldn't trust myself with that document because I did foundation English for the junior cert, you know. I've, that's that's why. Okay. Okay, Joe. That must have been take have taken a lot of courage and a lot of trust to be able to say that with Pat here. Well, she just said that in the first place. Okay. Is this something you have not realised before? No. I mean, I wonder why, you know, he wouldn't... He'd always ring me. He'd never text or anything. If I texted him, he'd always ring back and I'd give out to him for spending the money on the phone rather than just texting or texting off the internet or whatever. So, I mean, you know, I, like, I know he finished school early, but sure, I wasn't really in any of his classes. I didn't know. Um, I didn't know, you know, he, I didn't know things were kind of that mm. level. Um, I just wish he'd said it. I mean, it would have been no big deal. If, if, if Joe had said this to you... Um well, I would have just read the thing myself and, just, you know, signed it or whatever, or put it off for a week till I came back, or, but sure, I hadn't a clue. And okay. then he wasn't telling me, and then I thought it was something else. I thought he was too hungover or missed a meeting or, you know, said the wrong thing or something. I, I mean, I, just, I hadn't a clue, sure. So have you been making <coughs> many assumptions about Joe in the last while? Uh, that may not actually be valid. Probably, yeah. Okay. What does it mean for you now to hear um, what Joe has just told you? Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it makes a bit more sense. Um, yeah, things generally make a bit more sense as to why he kind of would act strange around certain things. I mean, there's other things as well I didn't talk about, but... Okay, so what kind of you know, things... I'd always, it would make me question him and, the, you know, why, how could I trust him or why he wasn't trusting me or why he was acting funny and things like that, whereas now I know, or why he wasn't responding. I might think he wasn't responding because he was, out, you know, gallivanting, mm. but it was probably that he didn't want to you know, ring because he knew it was late at night or whatever and I was just kind of expecting, you know, an email back or whatever rather than a phone call. So, I mean, it does make sense. It do, like, yeah. Okay. And for you, Joe, um, what must it have been like all these years? Um, why why do you think I always took the driving jobs, bring someone with me so they can take the notes? Okay. I don't even need to wear glasses and I tend to be missing my glasses. I, screen broke on my phone, screen never broke on my phone. Broadband doesn't come to my house, it does come to my house. I, oh. just, I, just, I just avoid it. Okay. And it's always worked. And now I'm in such a place where I'm so scared that it's a bigger deal to not say it than to say it. Than to say it. So the, the, the cost of yeah, losing the the first time I've ever said it, so it's, it's just a bit... First time you've ever said it to anybody. Okay. What was it like when you were hearing um, Pat making assumptions as to maybe you've been hungover or you not caring or whatever? It was better than him knowing. It was better than him knowing. Yeah, that was always whatever, okay. you know. Okay. It's a bit annoying, but sure, look. He's put, no, I was kind of glad that he didn't flip out. Joe went on to make suggestions to Pat with regard to their not buying another premises at this stage and instead taking the time to consolidate the successful business that they already have. Joe also made proposals about apportioning the workload more evenly between himself and Pat and he made suggestions as to how he would support Pat in managing the staff. 
I'm obviously I've been thinking about solutions more than you have because I really want this to work. How does all that sound to you, Pat? Well, it's, I mean, their ideas, yeah, it'd help, I think. Is there room for negotiation and for even looking at them, evaluating them? Yeah, I think, yeah. I'm still feeling a bit of resistance and I'm, I, I don't want it to be there and I don't know how to okay. get rid of it. And I'm willing to get rid of it over again. Pat, the bit of resistance Joe's feeling, is that something that is within you? I mean, a little, yeah, that, but it's, it's a lot less now than... What are you concerned about? Ago. I, I just want to see, you know, like... I want to see it working before I be... I mean, I'm very cautious. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say, yeah, everything's cured. You know, it's okay. just In fairness, that's not a personality change. Okay. You're always cautious, and that's All fair right. enough. Can I just ask you again to, to, to rank the resistance? At the beginning, what would you say it was? Uh, ten. And now? Two. Two, okay. And if you were to put yourself to the place whereby you, were bo- you both had changed the kind of the, the balance of responsibilities and you were both happy with that change and happy with how the business was going, where would your resistance level be? Uh, probably zero. Zero, okay. So it's, it's on its way. Okay. Yeah, I just want to see it happen first. I mean, it's All right. Can I suggest this? This has been a, a particularly tough hour for both of you. Can I suggest that at this stage we take a break for tea and coffee and then we come back and sit down and look at the issues one by one by one, and you talk about what's important to you with each of those issues and what kind of recommendations for change you'll make. Yeah. Is that okay?